Hey guys, it's Lin. Today I want to show you guys how to make this Chinese hairpin or hair stick because Chinese New Year is less than a month away. First, we're gonna use polymer clay to make something that looks like a Chinese knot. If you're not familiar with Chinese knots, according to Wikipedia, Chinese knotting is a decorative handicraft art that began as a form of Chinese folk art in the Tang and the Song dynasty in China. Here on the screen, I'm just trying to show you a couple of different patterns of Chinese knots. Start with some red clay. I actually used a mixture of red and translucent. Divide your clay into six equal pieces. Do not worry if they are not exactly equal in size. Now you want to roll each piece into a snake. By the way, this is by no means how Chinese knots are made. We're just trying to create something that looks like a Chinese knot. Now put three of the six snakes next to each other. If you have one snake that is longer than the others, you want to make sure that one goes on the bottom. Now this is just like how you would create a lattice pie crust. So place the fourth snake under, over, and under, the fifth snake over, under, and over, and finally the last snake under, over, and under. This time make sure the longest snake goes on the right side. Then on the left side I cut out the middle end. Then I curved the end on the top to connect it with the cut. Here is a picture that shows you what exactly I am trying to create. But keep in mind, whenever I am cutting off an entire end, I am always trying to cut the end that goes under, not over, in order to make the connection points less visible. I hope that made sense. Okay, now I will just let you guys watch how I made this whole thing. All right, there we go. Next, I actually made a Chinese knot. I believe this one is called a button knot. To keep the main part of the video short, I will leave the tutorial for this part in the end. Moving on, roll out a piece of clay, cut it into a rectangular shape. Make it just long enough so that it can wrap around the loose end of the knot. This piece of clay will eventually go inside the hairpin like this. Next, I used some red clay, some golden clay, and some translucent clay. I picked red and golden because those are some traditional Chinese New Year colors. You should start mixing the colors together, but do not overmix. Using the piece of clay, I made two small balls. I also made one larger teardrop shape. Then I used a needle tool to poke one hole through the middle of each small ball. Also poke a hole through the center of the teardrop shape. The teardrop shape actually broke into two pieces after baking when I tried to put a head pin through it. 
So I made another one, but this time I baked that with the head pin already in it. Bake the clay and time to put everything together. First, I put a jump ring through the top of the button knot. Then put both ends of the knot through the cone that we made. Cut off the excess string. Then I slightly burned the ends and pressed them together. Then I used the resin as glue to put all the pieces together. Cure the resin. Put on another generous layer of resin before putting the whole piece into the hairpin. I then added more resin through the gaps. Then, of course, cure the resin. Put an eye pin through the two little balls. Then, make another loop on the other end of the eye pin. You can find tutorials on how to do this on YouTube. Just search for how to make an eye pin loop. For the teardrop, I used a head pin instead of eye pin, and we need to make an eye pin loop here as well. I also wrapped the end around a couple of times just to make it look fancier. Time to glaze all the clay pieces. Connect the piece with the two small balls to the jump ring on the hairpin. I then used a resin to seal the ends of the jump ring. Use another jump ring to connect the teardrop as well. Don't forget to glue on the larger knot that we made at the beginning. So there we go. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe for more upcoming videos. If you want to watch the button knot tutorial, keep on watching. Otherwise, see you next time. Bye bye. For the button knot, I used a red string. Red yarn probably works as well, but red string works the best. If you don't have either, maybe just use a polymer clay ball instead. Make two loops like so. Put the one on the left under the one on the right. That loop that I am pointing at will be the top. Here's some washi tape to help you see the top. Now take the end that is on the right side, put it over the end that is on the left side. Then you want to go under, over, 
under, and under. So that it was under, over, under, and under. Then wrap the end around the top loop and put it through the hole that I am pointing at. Now for the end that is currently on the right side, which is the one that we have not touched yet, bring that over the other end. Then just make that go through the top loop. Now put that end through the same hole as the other end. Now you can just use one hand to pull on the two ends, while using the other hand to pull on the top loop. Here, I don't know how to explain it, but I think you can understand it by just watching. So I am just trying to pull on all these loops. Just trying to make the knot look perfect. Now we don't want a huge top loop, so just keep pulling. So that's it. Once again, thanks for watching. Bye bye.